Yeah, Nyame Sherif Jansen was a very, very important bone master. Actually, he was born 1356 in 14th century. He came from Far East Tibet, called to a place called Jalong. He became abbot of the Yeru Wensaka Monastery. So Yeru Wensaka Monastery was one of the biggest and most important monastery in uh, of uh, Yungdung Pohen tradition in central Tibet that was established in the 11th century. While Yamishar of Jansen was abbot, because when he left his hometown long before, and then he thought it was time for him to go back to home and to meet his mother. So he traveled, it's very, very far, so it is many, many months of journey. On the way back, he heard bad news saying that uh, the, his monastery, Yeruvensaka, was destroyed by the flood. Very strong flood happened, and there was nothing left. Of course, he halted his journey. He practiced in a place called uh, Tarjeto area in eastern Tibet. And then while he was doing his practice, then he had a very auspicious signs, encouragement made by uh, protectors, Sipa Jalmo and other protectors saying that he should continue his journey and then to restore the monastery. So on the basis of these signs, then he went back to Tibet and then finally with many signs and many auspicious, he decided to go a little bit higher on the mountain. It is same region, same area. Yerovenzaka Monastery is in the valley down below. Then because of there is a danger of flood, so he decided to went up a little bit higher. So where he established a monastery, which was named as Trashi Mary Monastery. Therefore, he was the founder of Mary Monastery. Mary Monastery became very, very important and one of the most uh, important burn monastery from that time on. Not only he established the monastery external, but also he reinstalled all the, you know, teaching, practice, all the monastery activities and traditions that was, you know, held in the Yeruvensaka Monastery. So with his support with, uh, by his disciple, uh, Rinche Janse, so they managed to build an established monastery of Mary and then reinstall all the system. That is why Yamishar of Janse is considered to be very, very important. So not only that, he held all the lineage of Sutra, Tantra, and Dzogche. So if you look in the burn uh, refuge field, so we have Sutra line, Tantra line, and Dzogche line coming down and through different lineages. And then all unite, unified to Nyameshara Jansen. And then from Nyame Sharab Janse on, he transmitted through the Mary lineage, Mary uh, abbots and uh, lopers, and then different uh, places. So therefore, in burn tradition, he was actually called second Buddha, we call Jawanipa. And he is considered to be the ho holder of all the Sutra, Tantra, and Dzogchen lineages. So that is why everywhere, all over, in uh, generally in Tibet, burn tradition and burn monasteries were uh, spread all over different parts of Tibet and different corners. Each monastery, they have their own lineage, basically same, but a little bit different lineage. But Yamishar of Jansi was revered by everyone. So therefore, he is very, very important for our tradition, for preservation of our saving and preservation of our tradition. And not only that, and also to make the, our tradition academically and also experientially, then also with all the uh, rituals. So generally, we cannot identify burn as one element, you know. 
So burn tradition has many, many, many different aspects of practices. Normally we say nine ways of burn, within which includes philosophy, uh, meditation, ritual, healing practices, even medicine practices, the difference. So therefore, he embodies all of this, and then he presents this in a very, very clear and very uh, pure way. Another importance of Yamishara Jansi is his uh, lineage of the Binaya. He received his vows from his masters, and then from Yamishara Jansi, since his establishment of Mary Monastery, until now. So the Binaya lineage line has preserved very, very purely and very uh, clean. Uh, this is very, very unique. So all these generations, now we have 34th Mary Abbot. So until here, so Vinaya line was purely and very much without any interruption, without breaking. So that aspect, he is regarded to be something very unique and very special. So therefore, all the Pampos uh, have devotion and uh, we uh, observe his uh, celebration of his birthday and his uh, uh, Pari Nirvana or passing away. Normally we say birth anniversary of Yamishara Jansi. So, but it, in fact, it, I would say coincidentally, birth anniversary and also cremation anniversary. He passed away several months before. His body was kept several months and then he was cremated. So therefore, yesterday's celebration was the day of his birth and also his cremation. So that is very important of yesterday's ceremony. <laughs>